My name is Maya Dolgan. I'm the founder of Braver Me, and today we'll be talking about fidgeting. You see, it's something that we all do. Whether you play with your hair, bite your nails, swivel in a chair, or adjust your tie, we all have something that we do with our hands or with our body when we're feeling a bit uncomfortable. If you're trying to get across a message, whether you're trying to persuade people, teach them something, or any other kind of a message where you need to have an air of confidence and authority, then you want to have as few distractions as possible, especially the kind that might give off the impression that you are unfocused or don't know what you're talking about. So here are three tips that you can keep in mind in order to keep the fidgeting to a minimum. Number one, awareness. You might already have something in mind that you want to work on, or you might think to yourself, I don't fidget. In which case, I suggest you film yourself and watch it to find out. And you can also ask friends or some trusted colleagues what it is that they've noticed in you that you should be aware of. Number two, enlist an ally. Once you have that thing in mind that you want to work on, you can ask someone that you're close with for some accountability. It could be your work wife, someone that you trust at work. You can ask them to have some kind of a signal with you so that when you're presenting in a meeting or they catch your eye across the table, they can let you know that it's time for you to put your hands down and stop moving around. Number three, have some kind of a physical reminder. It could be that you put a big bold sign next to your desk that says stop fidgeting, or you might want to have something more subtle like some kind of a picture or an item on your desk that reminds you of your fidgeting habits that you're trying to break so that you can look at it right before you head out to a meeting or to some kind of a presentation that you're giving. So number one, awareness. Number two, enlist an ally. And number three, have some kind of a physical item. So if this message resonates with you, share this video with your work wife or other colleagues who you've talked about fidgeting with in the past. And follow Braver Me on Facebook and on LinkedIn for more videos like this.